god it's pouring rain outside that is the perfect weather for painting today we are painting the statue of david i found this replica in a small workshop of an old local artist from the first moment I saw it, I imagined it already painted and sitting beautifully on a shelf. So that's what we are going to do today. We are going to paint this little silhouette here. Getting into the creative process involves a lot of experimentation, vulnerability and facing frustrations. It's a journey that requires me to be open to changing my mind and exploring new ideas. Even mentioning this in the video makes my stomach tie a little bit because I'm not one that was raised to talk about feelings, but instead shove them under the rug. One of the most important aspects of creating art is being open to changing your mind. As an artist, you may have a particular idea or vision in your mind when you start the project, but as you begin to work on it, you may discover new ideas and possibilities that you hadn't considered before. It's important to be open and embrace them and allow yourself to explore new directions. Sometimes the final product can be even better than what you initially imagined. When I create something, I am putting a piece of myself out into the world. Being vulnerable also allows me to connect with others on a deeper level and share my unique perspective with the world. It's not an easy journey, but it's one that can be incredibly rewarding. As you embark on your own creative journey, remember to be kind to yourself, be open to new ideas and to embrace the challenges that may come your way. A great way to embrace the process is to seek out feedback from the others. Getting feedback can be scary, I know, for many years I wasn't even showing my paintings to people because I was afraid of judgement, but it can be incredibly helpful in improving your skills and pushing you to new heights. Look for people who can be supportive and constructive in their criticism Speaking of which, I would love it a lot if you would leave a feedback or even just a thought in the comment section. Also, likes and shares are deeply appreciated. <laughs> second day painting this statue of Michelangelo's the statue of David the reason I am I want to dramatically change the color is that last time I painted this in a much yellower light and because of that my statue is looks like it's dead it's too bluish and giving me the corpse vibes so i don't want that yeah that's what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna alter the colors make them more uh, lifelike but also pale i don't know if i make sense right now just what let's get back to our previous chat artists challenges creative blocks are a common occurrence for artists and can be frustrating when they happen one way to overcome creative blocks is to take a break and come back to your work with fresh eyes. This can mean stepping away from your work for a few hours, for a few days or even longer. When you come back to it, you may find it that you have a new perspective and fresh ideas. Another way to overcome creative blocks is to try something new. This can mean trying a new technique, exploring a new subject matter or even working in a different environment. Sometimes a change of scenery can be just what you need to get your creative juices flowing again. What I like to do most in these cases is to tap into my other artistic passions, be it body painting, henna tattoos, sewing or maybe just some digital art. 
Creating art is a journey that requires patience, perseverance and willingness to take risks. It's not always an easy journey, but it can be incredibly rewarding. So, my statuette turned out different from what I envisioned in the first place, but definitely for the better. What do you think? You can leave your answers in the comments section below. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to support my growth. Until next time, keep it crafty!